These hosting gigs are brutal. Whoopi Goldberg is standing up for Joe Coy after his controversial Golden Globes monologue. The 68-year-old morning show co-host said she didn't watch the comedian's hosting performance on January 7th, but she did empathize with him during Monday's episode of The View, as she understands how difficult hosting an award show can be. These, these gigs, these hosting gigs are brutal. Yeah. They're just brutal. If you don't know the room, if you've not been in these rooms before and you're sort of thrust out there, it's hit or miss. Now, I love Joe Coy. He, to me, makes me just crazy because he's funny. I don't know whether it was the room. I don't know whether it was the jokes. I didn't get to see it. But I do know that he is as good as it gets mm -hmm. when yeah. it comes to stand-ups. Yeah. And it is, was... not, it is not an easy gig. Whoopi then made fun of her own past when it came to hosting, as she formerly hosted the Academy Awards four times in 1994, 1996, 1999, and 2002. I mean, you know, if you read any of the reviews of some of the yes. <laughs> gigs that I've had, <laughs> where they've just, you know, wished me into the cornfields. <laughs> <laughs> You know, die on the vine. I mean, it's not an easy gig. You just so fly in hard. like a queen. Yes, yeah. yes that's but that's because I, I learned the room. The EGOT winner's co-host, Anna Navarro, didn't agree with her, though. But Sarah Haynes did get back on track to defend Joe as she, quote, felt bad for him. I, I actually did watch it. Um, he wasn't he wasn't funny uh, to me, but I'm not going to talk about that because there's something that was funny to me. So the Hollywood Reporter had a tweet out where they confused Justin Hartley for Glenn Powell. I think we have it. And so I just want to tell Latinos and Black people that this happens to white people too. Oh. <laughs> and they're both fine as hell. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's not just, you know, it's not all, it's not just... Well, I love Joe and... Coy, and I thought the whole time I was nervous for him because I think he's so funny, and I think it's a and gig. he's kind. It's, he's kind, he's good, he, you know, all the things. What bothers me more in watching this is get a sense of humor because yes. we need to protect yeah. these national treasures called our comedians mm -hmm. because life needs them. We need yeah. to stop binding them in, fencing them in. And in that room, Joe Coy is punching up. No one feels sorry, just just smile. And Alyssa Farah Griffin agreed that he's just a quote, inherently nice person. And she couldn't believe his roast caused such negative reactions. But to Sarah's point, Joy Coe's been one of my joke. favorite, he's been one of my favorite guests he's we've had on person. the show. I think that he's such an inherently nice person that doing more of a roast is not natural for him. Whereas Ricky Gervais will just go in and knock He doesn't over. care. So, but I felt like he That's actually got, point. he got very good as the night went on. And amazing people won. Succession crushed it. I was very happy about that. And the 52-year-old comedian went off script as he kicked off the Golden Globes. And some of his jokes were met with not-so-enthusiastic reactions. Joe aimed zingers at the year's biggest TV shows and films, including Oppenheimer. I loved Oppenheimer. I loved Oppenheimer. I just, I just got one complaint. Needed another hour. <laughs> so I felt like it needed some more backstory. My New Year's resolution for 2024 is to finish Oppenheimer in 2025. Like, seriously, it's, I'm almost there. I love Oppenheimer, it's, especially the first season. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer answered a lifelong question that's been on my mind for years. Yes, scientists do get laid. As long as they look like Killian Murphy. He then brought Barbie into the conversation and had this to say. Oppenheimer is based on a 721-page Pulitzer Prize-winning book about the Manhattan Project. And Barbie is on a plastic doll with big boobies. <laughs> I watched Barbie. I loved it. I really did love it. Um, I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm a creep, but I, it was kind of weird being attracted to a plastic doll. It's just something about your eyes, Ryan. After the audience's response to his next Barbie joke, he suddenly went off script. And Margo, it's not always about you. <laughs> the key moment in Barbie is when she goes from perfect beauty to bad breath, cellulite, and flat feet. Ah, or what casting directors call character actor. <laughs> some I wrote, some other people wrote. Robert De Niro's here! Yo, I got the gig 10 days ago. You want a perfect monologue? Yo, shut up. 
you got, you're kidding me, right? Slow down. I wrote some of these, and they're the ones you're laughing at. Joe went on to zing Robert De Niro, who welcomed a daughter last year. Your last performance has got to be your greatest performance ever. How'd you get her pregnant at 80? <laughs> CGI! CGI? And he, of course, had to say something about Taylor Swift, who did not laugh out loud. The big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL, on the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. I swear. There's just more to go to. Here. Sorry about that.